What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal, man? I'm grinding. Second session of the day. What's the deal, Demarcus? What's the deal, Pluto? AJ, what's the deal? What's good, Russell? What's the deal? <sighs> what's the deal, uh, Red Bands? Listen. About to get us a connection session going. When I have a connection session, I'm more so um, working for working on forks, aggravating forks, moves, trying to move some forks around, combing, um, hard brushing. We're going to get a little crown work in too. We got the hard, medium, soft brush popping off and a comb. You cut low, AJ? Text me, man. You already know I want to see it. What's good, the chosen one? What's the deal? Um, GSR said you don't know me. Been lurking for a minute. Just subscribe and got the no notification. The crown videos have been real useful for me. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the gang. And take notes. All right. Bruce. Bruce, we live, baby. Come on, you're supposed to come in with your intro. You be getting me live with that shit, Bruce. What's good, Sue? All right, all right, all right, all right, AJ. All right, RJ Mercy, what's the deal? Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to have a better live than yesterday. Because homie ain't playing that shit today. Homie not playing that shit today on the live. I got my hater blockers on. We ain't with that today. What's good, again? Yeah, the shout out to the 204. We live, baby, yeah. yeah. What it do, George? What's good, Jay Alexander? Huh. So, um, to answer your question, when I'm um focusing co on connections, I really, it's, I brush my whole head. Don't get me wrong, but I really, like, aggravate the forks when I find them, comb them, lift them up, comb them back down. Um, I brush those areas a little harder than the rest. And um, more more combing, playing with directions. You'll see. I've never really done a connection uh, focused session live before, or so because they're usually kind of boring and tedious. What the fucking deal? What's good, Black Panther man? Yeah, man. Like the hot damn video. That's right. Twenty viewers, eight likes. When I get to 15, I'll start my session. When I get to 15, I'll start my session. Because y'all stingy as hell sometimes. But I love y'all anyway. Alright. Follow me on Instagram if you have not. Okay? If you have not. Sometimes I post tips on there. That I, I don't put in a video or whatever. Sometimes I'm just posting face shots. That don't sound right. Sometimes I'm just posting motivation. You never know what you'll get on my Instagram. I also show love and I share other waivers pics. And pages. Alright, so link in the description down below. Um, four more likes we get this session, dog. I'm going to show y'all what I'm working with. We whipped out the OG. Yeah, man. Yeah. OZLW. I'll talk about brush pressure. We're going to talk about brush pressure when it comes to this hard brush. Red bands. We need three more likes or I ain't starting. <laughs> We're going to use this hard Diane OG. Let me see. I don't whip out the Supreme Medium. I rarely use this brush. I washed it yesterday. So, using this for a medium. And I don't know why they be hating. Anyway, we back. So, Hard Diane. Boom. Medium Supreme Royalty. Boom. And Black Panther Soft. All right. Wooden comb is the comb of the day. What's the deal, Brie? What's the deal? Wooden comb, once again, we're going to work with both ends of the comb, the small and the wide tooth. 
in my cup. I got the yak. Say like, no, nah, this is just regular H2O. All right, we have 15 likes. I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. I had a long session for this morning. I used some avocado butter. What's the deal, Zelbrell? I used some avocado butter this morning. Very nice and soft. I did a long, uh, medium and soft brush session this morning, like two hours ago. So to be honest, man, my hair is really late. It's late as fuck. It's late and every time my hair is late, I just really only want a soft brush. But I got some forks I need to fix. I need to fuck up some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, ain't nothing to it. We know how to how to lay it back down. So, let's get into it. We're going to start with the crown work. I really don't focus or isolate my crown that often. I hope that y'all notice that. I really like to just keep my strokes from the middle <laughs> on out. You know, like the strokes. So whether I'm combing or brushing, I like to keep the strokes from my crown all the way out. And that's what I live by. That's why my crown is so closed. All right. So what I call isolation is different from other people. So let's get to it. Um, Small tooth side. Pluto, I'll help you out with that. If you remind me once I get to the uh, soft brush session of this video, um, Zell Rail, I cut in two or three weeks. All right, y'all. So when I'm focused on connections, I'm trying to chase this ring. Okay, chase this ring. It looks like it starts here, actually. Chase this ring. Chase this ring. Chase this ring. Chase this ring. Chase this ring all the way down to the hairline. Okay, when I'm combing. All right. Key to connects. Follow the hair the way it grows. What's the deal? <laughs> Welcome. What's good, Moray? What's the deal? So, small tooth in, and we're going to comb all the way through. All the way through. All the way through. I got a few forks in this section that I need to redirect right here. But I like it kind of because it gives me that water pebble droplet look. But um, all the way through the hairline. All the way through the hairline. All the way through the hairline. All the way through. Okay. You got to be precise with your comb work when you're working for connections. You got to really pay attention to the, how the hair grows and follow it all the way through your hairline. Okay. See that? Right there. So first I'm just going to comb my hair to lift it up. To lift it up. You be hating dog. Always cut off my bits, bro. Russell started plastic bath for a whole session. Just grapeseed oil. Yeah, I heard of people that do that. Alright, so let me get back into it. So um comment lift it up, okay. Got a fork here, I'm about to aggravate some. So all the way through. All right, so my main forks I wanna work on is in the back. This one. Why the fuck is the camera acting dumb? All right, my bad. 
This one right here. Oh, my bad. This one right here. This fork. This fork. Then there's another one right here. So with these, what I like to do, lift them up real good. All right? That's one, two. Then I like to go against the grain on it. Back with the grain on it. See? Still there, but it, it lifts and it disturbs how the fork likes to lay. So I do that a few times. All right. Same way with this fork. Same way with this one. Then I got, <clears throat> excuse me, pig. <laughs> and then I got one at this hairline. That's the move out of my crown. I'm gonna do it the same way. Then calm me back down. Same thing in the crown. We ain't never skipped it. All right. This fork is going to be difficult for the simple fact that I know why I'm creating a fork. I know exactly how I'm creating that fork. It's just that I'm stubborn with my angles for my right side. And until I'm ready to change to proper angle for it, it's going to keep popping up. So, I will return back to the comb, but we're going to move on to the hard somebody asked me about brush pressure all right this this brush pressure shit applies to whatever brush you're using but mostly with the hard brush all right hard brush should be used just like the comb okay with the comb you're you just flowing through your hair you're not applying pressure you're not pressing with the comb you're just flowing through the hair flowing through the hair flowing through the hair flowing through the hair same thing with the hard brush. Same way with the hard brush. All right. You just let it flow on top of the hair. Flow on top of the hair. You don't press a hard brush, bro. You just let it flow on top of the hair. Let the bristles do the pulling. Make sure the brush is flat. Because if you apply too much pressure, that's when y'all cry babies. Be like, oh, the, the hard brush hurts. Shut the fuck up. My bad. He's passing. What's good, yo? And Miles was good, PC. <laughs> so with hard brushes, you don't apply pressure. You just let the brush flat and let the bristles dance through the hair let the bristles do the work through the hair i'm not applying no pressure so with this i like to 
really chase the crown with hard brushes because it's just something about a hard brush that gives me that extra detail in the crown. You know what I'm saying? Another place I'm not even pressing. I'm just letting the hard brush do the work. Okay. See, with this, I'm pulling this fork at a different angle, more of a, a forward fashion. And if you get into the habit of pulling your fork um, the best direction, it'll line up eventually as long as you keep consistent with pulling it the right way. Dear people within sides like me, do not apply a lot of pressure with a hard brush if you're going to use a hard brush. If you notice, I haven't used hard brushes that often. But I did really, really upgrade my use towards the last week or two of my, um, leading up to my haircut. What's the deal, everybody? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? What the fuck is the deal? Miles Walker, look, chill off me, dog. Yeah, Brie. <laughs> Brie asked about this t-shirt. <laughs> Catch up to some more comments. PC Franklin, comb work is better for forks and sides. Comb work is better for everything. Comb work is better for everything. Comb work is better for everything, bro. Your overall pattern development, your flow, your connections, your depth. Okay. What's good? So, I ain't no genius, man. I'm just trying to preach to the choir. You feel me? So, I'm going to listen to some. Ain't. Uh, Neo, no, nah, I didn't move my crown to the right. I actually tried to center my crown some years ago, and it was embarrassing as fuck. And I tried to swirl my crown. Um, I swirled the fuck out that bitch. It was cold, and then a few days later, it was, it was shitty. Like, what the fuck? But this my natural crown offset on the right side. What's good, DJ? What's the deal? I hope you're brushing. <laughs> All right, Miles. Hold on. Let me back up. What's good, Sue, man? <laughs> Why are you giving that face? Hold on, Miles. Let me back up, Miles. Let me let me back up. Let me back up. What do you do when flakes be popping off your scalp <laughs> when you come? <laughs> because that be killing me. That just mean your scalp need a little bit more oil, bro. That's all that mean. That's all that mean. Your scalp need a little bit of more oil added directly to your scalp. That's all that mean. Okay. Comb you in some oils. And then finish brushing. Okay. Y'all, I don't really like to hard brush my sides that much because they they can get thin. You feel me? Um 
I'm gonna throw in some um, coconut oil. What I got? No, I'm gonna use some argan oil. I'm about to use some argan oil before I start brushing with my medium royalty joint. But I'm going I'm about to chase all these forks that I disturbed with that comb. Chase them all. And I noticed some of y'all, this shit might not seem like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, might not seem like I'm doing much. But simple shit is what I'm trying to teach y'all. Simple shit, consistent, simple shit will get you elite. Let out. Now, George Webster, please. Thank you very much, but don't call me boo, all right? You cool? Got no problems with you, but just don't call me boo, all right? Good looking. And my skin is clear because I take care of my skin. I take care of my skin, man, you know? Clay mask, my fluffy puff bar, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Hey, you good? You good? You good, George? You ain't no. You you good, man? Ain't no problems, dog. <laughs> yeah, man. A lot of people. Uh, somebody didn't call me boring before for the simple fact that I just don't make this shit too scientific. Cam Webb, what's your texture? How thick is your hair? How fast does it grow? Blah 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 blah. Then I could tell you. But a lot of people say, "Aren't you think boring?" Talking about shit, yeah, because it's no reason to keep talking about no magical shit because you don't need magical shit. Keep your hair clean and conditioned once or twice a week. Brush your hair consistently on a daily basis. Don't let it get dry. Don't overuse your products. Don't be slacking on the brush work. Don't get your progress cut out by cutting too low. I mean, you feel me? Listen when motherfuckers try to give you tips. Because a lot of people don't even take the tips. And still be crying. The legend was good vibe, 40 styles was good. Yeah, Miles, you feel me? What's good, Mikey De Niro? What's the deal, man? What's the deal, Mikey? All right, so I don't really like to use hards that much. We're going to run through my crown again with the hard just to make sure I got everything going in a good direction. Then we're going to use the Supreme Royalty Medium after I put in some argan oil. See how that crown is nice, nice and ring, ring around the rosy, bitch. See? See? Matter of fact, I'm not even going to run through the crown. Now, if you want healthy hair, one oil is cool. One oil will work. But not, you know, it's groups of oils that are good for certain shit. Some stay on top of the hair. Some penetrate the hair. Some attract moisture. Some block moisture. Some add shine. Blah, blah, blah for growth. So me, my style is to have a whole bunch of different oils that work for my hair. So, oils like argan, avocado, coconut, castor, olive. So, since I used some avocado butter this morning, a little bit, 
Okay, I used a little bit because I want my hair to be light while I'm combing and brushing. I'm going to use some of this unnatural argan oil. Okay. It's unnatural. All you need is a smidge of Ronin. All right, Black Panther. Huh, 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 you see? I always add my products at the crown, my sides, then back and top. Crown, my sides, back, and top. The reason why I do that is because my crown is where everything grows from and my sides are the thinnest. So when you apply a product, you want to make sure that you getting make you want to make sure your most needy areas or your most trouble spots is getting product down to it. So all right. All right, so we about to move on to the medium brush. We getting some work in, you feel me? I hope everybody appreciating these lives. I'm going to bring these lives to you whether I'm feeling good or not. Some days I ain't going to be talking as much. Some days I am, you know what I'm saying? Smoldering, it's unnatural, dog. It's unnatural. All right, so <laughs> all right. So now this fork, this fork has to come a little bit that way. Okay, all it takes is a little bit. See, when they open up like that, that means you didn't disturb how they, how they want to go. You didn't disturbed it. And that's half the fight, disturbing the fork, uprooting the fork. So now, this is going forward a little bit, okay? No, this fork shit ain't overnight. It's all about being consistent. Every time you get in the mirror, if you really care about the forks that bad, you go ham on them bitches. So... <clears throat> For the next two cuts, I'll be having connection-focused sessions every single day. Brush pressure. Depends on how firm your medium brushes are. Me, I press a little bit on my mediums if my hair is thick. But for the most part... As you can see, you let the bristles do the dancing and everything else, let the brush do its job, okay? Now this, this fork is still aftermath from changing that. I had like a little baby swirl in my crown about four months ago and I broke it and it just comes back to haunt me. So with this one, I'm going to trust the process and continue to brush it the way I want it to go. This one probably could afford to keep getting pulled this way, but I ain't ready to try that yet. I'll take some questions. What's the deal? I'm guilty. 
the show, DJ. Hey, man, Mr. Manners is coming, dog. It's hard. Um, I broke bread on my lighting kit first because it was the cheapest. So, <sighs> I'm thinking about doing a brush marathon till I get that bread up. <laughs> Think about doing like a dog-ass brush marathon, like three, four hours, dog. <laughs> but I'm going to need some music, though. And I appreciate that. Joe Ellis, a hey, I'm not even gonna debate that. Mikey De Niro, I have not tried goat drip, but I've heard great things. Um, Durpin J, you gotta brush it, my baby. You know what I'm saying? Really, it's really, it's really hard. Sides are the hardest thing to achieve. Um. Sides are the hardest thing to achieve, bro. And, and all I can say is God speed on that. You just got to keep brushing. What makes sides hard to get is when you get a low cut over and over. And when a barber or you cut your hair too low on the sides, it cuts your curl length out. And I've been hella guilty of that for years. Oh, and Black Boy Live. Hey, y'all, I want y'all to see Black Boy Live's comment before I answer it. I don't want y'all to trip. Black Boy Life. Both. Both. <gasps> Mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, B Dog. YouTube do not be playing with the music at all. Facebook neither. Facebook neither. You can be like, buzz down, Tatiana. Blue, your, your video has, like, damn. What's good, Shy Montana? Back to the brush. <laughs> so, um, like I said the other day, this fork, I'm going to shake this bitch up and get this bitch gone. I really do think my do-rag, when I double compress, really uh, contributes to this fork because the line in the back of my do-rag goes right through this fork. So, I'm going to keep fucking that bitch up and brush until it leaves. Bree, I got you on some of that goat drip if you want a sample. Hey, shoot it my way, Bree. You feel me? Hey, if that's what you want to do, if that's what you want to do for the kid, holla at me, dog. <laughs> yeah, be dog. I'm going to murder that bitch. Man, I used this brush in months, dog. Months, like months. For sure, hit me up. Good looking out. Can yada. Hey. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. Ain't nothing to that shit but to do that shit. What up, Smolder and Waves? 313 Wave Check. Would be on the judge. Hey, you know what I'm saying? No shouts, no shots to nobody, but in our city, man, it's so hard to get a get together going. I tried to get a, a meet and greet going at the auto show when it was here and motherfuckers was just bullshit. So <sighs> we'll see. I'll participate, you feel me? Um whenever, you know what I'm saying? When I get this YouTube channel throbbing off the ground. I organized something big. I bet motherfuckers will want to go to then. You feel me? All right. So. 
we're gonna move on to this black panther soft royalty all right um my hair is pretty much laid again only gonna soft brush to get the detail um add more detail look at the hair soft your hair is supposed to be soft and move after you done added product um if your hair is weighed down and not moving good you either use a bad product or you used too much or your hair dirty all right what's good hey what's the deal man Um, and at the end of the session, I want y'all to vote on which rag I should rag up with. Which rag I should rag up with. I want y'all to vote at the end. These are the two I'm working with today. So, keep that in mind. Now, we about to soft brush. All questions will be answered. Now is the time. All right. We looking for a 40, 50 minute uh, live. We have 40 minutes right now. What's good, TB? Hey, appreciate that. Hope you subscribe. Welcome to the gang. Welcome to the gang. <laughs> Soft brush. Let's get to it. Um, I hope whoever is in this live that said that when they get a number two, soft brushes do nothing for them. Um, I've brushed with a soft brush on a two and a half. So, um, you really need to evaluate what you're doing. Um, twos and two and a halves are hard to maintain. They really are. They take some time to get used to. Um... So, all I can suggest to you is when you get a two or two and a half comb for at least 20 minutes, bro, before you brush. So, comb for 20 minutes. Do comb, hard brush, medium brush, soft brush. And once you got get down to that soft brush, bang it. Bang it. I'm telling you, soft brushes are beast and slept on. Matter of fact, you just inspired me for a video. You inspired me to do a video. I made progress right here, y'all. Right motherfucking here. This little dude coming along right here. Bitch. That motherfucker coming along, bro. See it? It's coming along, dog. When I go get my uh, lineup, I'm not letting nobody touch that. I'm just getting my taper right here and a nice razor line. We're going to keep it fucking. You feel me? Uh, can you add a listen, bro? I really like, I'm really like one of those waivers who are not into the porosity argument slash debate. Um, I do know, I think you've used Diva products before. She got high and low po shit and she got a new high and low po line. So, holla at her. Um, Shea Moisture got a little chart where you could pick your porosity and they got products according to your porosity. So, it's stuff out there, you feel me? What's good, Larry Price? What the fuck? 
Hey, come here, Larry. Larry, hold on, hold on. Come here, Larry. Come, come here, Larry. Where the fuck you been, dog? Where have you been? You know you ain't supposed to be gone that long. Come on, Larry. <laughs> that boy Larry. What's good, Jay Holiday? What's the deal? Shout out to the two nine. Everybody that's viewing. I got 23 viewers. Drop those area codes before I get to ragging up. Shout out from the 313. So on days like this when I'm really putting a lot of brush work, um, I don't just keep doing the same shit over and over. I pretty much get me a soft brush. And I soft brush for the for the remainder of the um, day. You know what I'm saying? After you done achieved a certain type of lace, it's, it's like um, unnecessary to keep disturbing your lay. You feel me? So we laid right now, and um, I pretty much gone soft brush for the rest of the day. It's three o'clock. I'm gonna soft brush the rest of the day. What the fuck is that, Bruce? Shout out to the side. Shout out to the seven five seven, George. Fat Wavy, what's the deal? Shout out to the 202. Shout out to the 914. We out of Bay Area in the building. Shout out to TB from the Bay Area 510. Shit. Shout out to the 706 in here another day. I see you. Daniel D, what's good? Hey, Brenda Miles checking in from the 704. Caught another live. You hitting like the lottery. Ah. Uh, I followed you on one of your vids yesterday and my hair looking healthy and soft as cotton. That's what we own. That's what the fuck we own. I want people to try things, you know what I'm saying? That's why I throw different things out there at y'all so that y'all can try different things and whatever y'all try that works, stick with it and you will, um, your hair health will be better, your connects, your whatever will be better, you feel me? I'm glad it worked for you, Brenda. Let's get this money. Shout out Anthony Smith 205. Sue in the building once again. Another day on the grind. Shout out to the 202. Bree, what's the deal? <laughs> Shout out to the 6. Wait a minute. Yeah, the 661. Shy Montana. Shout out to the 212. <laughs> Shy, yeah, you got a little late, but um, once this video gets posted, I, I preached a little crown talk in the beginning. So, um, if you're trying to make gains, run it back, I'll get you some tips, or scroll down my mini videos, and I got plenty crown videos. What's good, Joe Ellis? Shout out to the 502. All right, so late bloomers, everybody that's just here, um, we had a fork session. We attacked the forks with a comb, hard brush, medium brush, threw in some argan oil, and finished with the soft brush. Now we at the point where oh, fuck. 
Now we at the point where y'all gotta let me know which rag I should rock. This is a remix by Rico Rag. And this is a Tracy Loren Dream Do Rag. So let me know which one y'all want me to wear. Um, this has nothing to do with this t-shirt. Because I'm wearing a hoodie when I leave out. I'm wearing a gray or a black hoodie. So y'all tell me which do rag to rock. Which one y'all like? Shout out Daniel Dean in Miami to 305. Y'all got it lit down there, dog. What's the deal? America first, he said. <laughs> he said tripping. <laughs> America first. Red, white, and blue. What's the deal? The black. <sighs> Give me another vote, dog. Black. I'm going to rock the black bitch. You feel me? I'm going to tie this do-rag from the back. I'm going to turn around and tie this do-rag. <laughs> All right. And because a lot of people ask me some crazy questions like, how to tie the do-rag in the back? And I'm like, what the fuck? First, I grab my strings, make sure they flat. In the front, you pull that forehead smooth up over the ears, okay? Make sure it's flat. Wrap it all the way around. Grab the next one. Make sure it's flat. All the way around. And then you tie it. All right, and I'm going to show you what I do. Some people like to leave the cape hanging. I only leave the cape hanging on my velvets. I like to tuck my strings in like a little baby knot. Find somewhere to tuck it. Boom. That way when I throw on a fitted, y'all know I love my fitted. When I throw on a fitted, it lands right here. Okay. That's it. Yeah, holiday. I've been time I do work like that. Um, they cut the video, so they must know I'm about to be out. It was good brushing with y'all. I hope y'all learned something. Um, hopefully, I have some videos dropped this weekend. Y'all gonna really like the new series. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Feel me. Hit that sub button if you ain't subbed. Shout out to my new